So, one of the recurring themes of us being here is uh, that we're not the smartest people. And a little while ago, I, I forgot how, but we all ended up talking about uh, citizenship tests. We're not doing tests on ourselves. I didn't we were say that. We were talking about... Citizenship tests. You know, the stuff you do when you immigrate to another country. So, I wasn't sure whether my throat and my coughing would be able to last for whole streams. So I didn't want to continue Pokemon or Golden Sun yet because if I keep coughing, well, I'd have to talk. It's annoying. So for our first stream back, we're gonna uh, create a little nightmare scenario for all of you <laughs> slash a high pressure environment for all of you because that's what you all enjoy, right? You like tuning into a stream and being put into a situation where you need to perform. So we are actually going to do three immigration tests. Or yes. We are going to do the American one first. Yes. And the American one seemed to have been built very differently from the German and Dutch one. So I'm not sure what to expect. We can talk that about yet. the details yeah. when we get to the individual. But we're going to do that one. Then we're going to do the German cultural test. And yes. we're going to do the Dutch cultural test. Yeah, so... And see if we're allowed to live in these countries. Why are we doing it in this order? Because first of all, we want you to face the potential nightmare scenario that one day you wake up and we are your neighbors. <laughs> we also want you to consider the other nightmare scenario that somehow you end up being our neighbors. And the I think next that's nightmare <laughs> scenario is if it's Dutch. I perform better than you on the American one, I will True. take your citizenship. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that's how it works, but <laughs> I think it does. there is more method to this madness. We're gonna do the US one first because we've looked, we haven't done them, but we've looked at them. And honestly, it looks like the American one has been designed in the most sensible way. And we want to create a baseline because most of you are American to my knowledge. So let's see how this works out, right? <laughs> let's see if we could be American citizens. <laughs> Fuck work. Don't worry. Also, you are very welcome to join us. No, please do. You please note your results. And actually, that was your idea. So you can... Please note your results. Yeah, note. So, write down your one results. thing after another. Tifa, I'm as excited as you are, but still. American citizenship test first. I don't want to take a test. Yes, you do. <laughs> We're going to do this one first because I feel like that should create a baseline of like normalcy. Then we're gonna do one of the German ones. Why do I say one? Germany doesn't have one, not two, but 16 different ones. For some reason, somebody very smart or overpaid decided that every individual state needs its own test. Well, Germany is big. I mean, there's a very big cultural difference between the North, that is South, true. East, We West. will let you pick through a process called democracy, which of the three choices that I've pre-selected we're gonna take when we get there. Last but not least, we're gonna do the Dutch one because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a mess. And I think uh, that after that it should just be done because nothing will probably be able to top that. Yeah. No. If there's enough time, otherwise we'll stretch it over to Sunday. Like I have no clue how long these tests will be. I know the Dutch one is like 40 questions. No clue about the German one. I haven't even looked really? at the US one, so... So I'm using my phone data to take a test? You might. You're <laughs> welcome to. <laughs> no, I'm gonna pay for the test. <laughs> while, what is this shit? While we were setting up, we had another glorious idea. And that's the best part about it, I think. If you want to join us, we're gonna go through the tests. The first one, the US one, we're gonna do together. The German one, she has to do because I'm pretty sure I'll know at least some of the answers, so I, I'm not allowed to just tell her and all of you. And then Dutch one, we do this in reverse. If you want, and if you want to win a unique prize, everybody who participates will win something. And it's gonna be unique and it's gonna, I, I think it's gonna be amazing. To do so, I'll say it again in a moment, just join us. And for yourself, take note of your score whether 
how many wrong, how many correct. Whether you lie to yourself or us is up to you. I, I don't know, you probably all of us went to school at some point and had a class where we're like, you just, just check whether you did your homework correctly amongst yourselves. <laughs> if you want to give yourself more points than you had, that's up to you. We don't judge. I'm just gonna say though, Evie, with unfortunately peanut butter, you get a free entry into the Netherlands, basically. You are now basically a Dutch citizen, yeah. At the end of a stream, or at the end of a test, we'll see, please post your results, and then uh, through the power of magic and love and the internet, you will soon receive your prizes. It won't be today. No, it will just probably be FYI. this weekend. Yeah. Was that enough unnecessary hype <laughs> for citizenship tests? I mean, not that those can't be hype if, if you if you want to migrate somewhere, but like in, in this situation right now. Still way too coy. I don't even know what that word means. I am looking forward to it and like I said, I remember just like Hawk and Yoma said, like I remember doing this test in school as well. I failed hardcore. I'm, I was not allowed to live in the Netherlands. But I remember it being lots of fun. Like some of the questions were like, what the fuck? And I hope it's going to be the same for the American one, for the test, the Dutch one I found. And I guess for the German one too. But I feel like the German one will make so much sense. It just might, depending on which one we end up picking. <coughs> hey. So, are you all ready? <laughs> you can't make me take this test again. Watch me. Well, Ranger, do you want to win a unique prize? <laughs> then you do want to join. Okay. I'm just saying. Let's start this test. I am so ready for this. Are you all ready? Unique prize. Yes, everybody who participates and tells us their score at the end will win something. Can you really call it a prize? Yes. Yes, you have a unique prize. Oh, thank you. Not quite, but straight in the heart. If I had one, yes. You ready, Tifa? I am ready. Are you already? I am so ready. All right, music is playing, so let me find the right button. Let's take citizenship test. So, American one first, right? Yes. Like I said, remember, if I score higher, you lose your citizenship. <laughs> Need help? Ask Emma. <laughs> We will not be asking Emma. <laughs> so I didn't anticipate that. Is this big enough? Can I make this bigger? This, this works, right? big enough on screen, yeah. I was on talking screen. to Pikachu. I sometimes do too. <laughs> this will be fun because I'm in and out of the kitchen talking to other people. Time to multitask. <laughs> when in doubt, Please. pick the D. First of all, <laughs> nice. Second <laughs> of all, no, usually the answer is C. How's the music? Loud enough? Not too loud? That's if it is, tell me. Which of these tests do we even need to do? I mean, I know like the Dutch one is in three categories. You have the written test, you have like a listening, understanding test, and you have the cultural test. Are you providing us for links to do along? Are we submitting after? We all do it live now together. <laughs> Fuck this test. <laughs> Basically. We're all doing it at the same time. So. This is the American one from 2008. This is the latest one I could find. This is the official website. It might be handy to post a link in chat regardless. Can do. If you want to have a link, there you go. For those that prefer... Why can't I go full screen? To there have the results on there. So... Give me that link! There you go. Done. Just be a B after making my food and guess B for what I miss. That works. So... Oh! Shrift, I'm so sorry to hear that you've got a cold. Please, go oh, no. get some rest. Take it easy, I know Shrift. how much that sucked. Get better soon, and thank you very much for dropping by. It's a different order each time, by the way, Rob. Hmm? Then you can forget about the link I send you. Really? You have to do it with the questions we get. Oh. So, I mentioned this, but here's what we're gonna do. American citizenship practice test. We're gonna do this one together because we are not US citizens. To yeah. my knowledge. I think I'm already losing. We can't follow along. Yes, just there. We'll read them out. We'll give you all a moment okay. to figure out your answers. Just like we will need a moment because we're not the smartest people. Want to so. swap? You read one out first. I read the next question or? Sure. Then you may start. Thanks for my throat. <laughs> what are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Health and Human Services and Secretary, Secretary of the Navy. Secretary of the Interior and Secretary of History. 
state and labor, weather and energy. Um, I do not think that there is a secretary of weather. I, I know there is of state. I think there's labor interior. as well. I don't think there's a secretary of a navy. So I think it's C, Secretary of State and Secretary of Labor. Honestly, I was thinking the same about the Secretary of the Navy. But honestly, it's, I'm so very sorry, it sounded very American. So there will like be, it listen, could definitely be the disc case. Disclaimer, there will be lots of prejudice. <laughs> yes, Both on our be. end, and we're broadcasting this so you can see and hear it. <laughs> and probably on your end too, when we do the German and Dutch ones. And I don't blame you. What does the Secretary of the Interior even mean? Well, it judges whether your couch is on the right spot in your home. Basically, basically. <laughs> the Navy. Yeah. Or they walk to Ikea and deem it correct. But I'm gonna go with C. I agree. So we're both on C. Correct. Uh, oh. We're Thank you. one step closer to maybe one day being your neighbors. America. So, for your scoring, if you had C, one out of However many, oh, 20. I can't read. Nice. Well, so far, we're all American. Secretary of Weather Controls Weather Machines. <laughs> that would be really cool. Cabinet level positions include the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Labor. The Secretary of State works with other countries around the world. I didn't know that. I thought it had to do with internal affairs. This person manages the president's foreign policies. The Secretary of Labor manages working conditions, wages, and unemployment benefits. Makes sense. The Secretary of Labor advises the president on employment issues. Okay. Checks out. That makes sense to me. We're all good. So, second question. Oh, there's only 20 questions. We got this. Second question. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one of the states? What is one power of the states? One power to bind them all. One, make treaties. Make treats. <laughs> treaties, <laughs> not to be confused with snacks. B, coin or print money. C, provide schooling and education. D, create an army. <laughs> <laughs> Bake cookies. Uh, is this test legit? Yes, this is the official government uh, testing one. I, I mean, I posted the link earlier. Yeah. You got to try to remember if you miss one, we'll put you on a plane to the wrong state and lie about job opening and housing and pay your tickets of the state's welfare funds. Basically. That was Texas, right? Texas or Florida, I forgot. Either one. Okay, wait. Under so, our constitution... No, under some, your constitution. We don't have Some one. powers belong to the mm -hmm. states. So it's about what can the fe what does the federal government have to do and what do the states have to do? Okay, oh, I would say federal government makes money. Yeah. So it's B, federal currency. I would say B is out. Yeah. I think schooling and education is very different in every state. That's I think that's a state power. So yeah. I would say C is a big competition competitioner. No, actually I think it's C because treaties are done by That's a country a thing. A country huh? thing. A so country it's, level entity. So it's D, I would say. Coin and print money, that, that's, that's again a federal thing. It's a federal currency. And create an army. I'm pretty sure some US states would love to, but I don't think you're allowed to. Yeah, I yeah. would say C. I was expecting to be asked about point of states in American history. That happened in 1779 <laughs> or 1780. Same. Honestly. That would be so horrible. 1776. Just absolutely like horrible. That. Instead, it's pointless questions about American government. Well, I would think it's a tiny bit important. I, I think it's C. Remember, it's the Constitution, so the original document. Yeah. Oh, wait, true, there could have been an amendment. I still they, think they it's would, C. They wouldn't pull it off. I'm gonna stick with C, though. I feel like C is correct. Everybody, please lock in your answers. Ready, Tifa? I'm ready. Ready or not? Bam, baby. I'm Go coming for answer. your citizenship. <laughs> They're taking our jobs. <laughs> They took my application. Yeah. Go wait, with the answer. Wait, where's my green card? <laughs> hey, Skinner, if you're still in your application process for a green card, maybe if you participate after the stream, you can take this video footage of you also answering in chat with your score at the end 
and supply them with this because if you don't get one after acing this, honestly, fuck them. Well, Fodi, you did the whole test. You only got three wrong. I'm gonna note that down. So, C was correct. The state governments have the power to do many things. They provide schooling and education. State and local governments provide protection and safety. States give driver's license and approve zoning and land use. I'm just happy I got the answer right. I have oh. Tifa and Jack are actually getting into America. <laughs> that would be great. I don't need to take this test for a green card. That's what you think, but maybe there's one wrong on my end. Not bad. Not bad. Go faster. I'm an A plus student. Who was the first president? Asterisk. John Adams, Thomas wait, wait. Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and George Washington. What's the asterisk for? There's no. Scroll down. There is no. no asterisk. I think this is to throw you off. How do you, how do you put one there? I didn't. Okay, first president, I'm out. Um, I think. Is John Adams a president? Has yeah. that been a president? He's been a politician, and I think he's been a president, but not the first one. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Right now, I'm trying really hard to remember Hamilton. <laughs> it's C or D. And I D. think it's Washington. When in doubt, pick D. It is! <laughs> See, that's the coughing I mentioned. It has to be D because I remember in Hamilton, Washington calls in. Spoilers, history. Calls in Hamilton and he goes Secretary of uh, Treasury or State. And that has to be President, right? I say D. I think it's D as well. Don't forget, if you need help, ask Emma. Uh. <laughs> D broke Jack as usual. Wait, Archie, no, wait isn't this Ranger, the year Evie mentioned? Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> I've already prematurely marked my answers correct on my piece of paper. That is fair. Gotta hold myself together to not help if it's hilarious moment where we're using Hamilton as reference. <laughs> Believe it or not, American history isn't taught that much in German schools, at least not back when I went. Not at all. I think the only thing I learned back then about like the US presidents was who was the current president. And who was it? That was Bush back then. Kind of. I don't even know who came before Bush. Clinton. Bill Clinton. Well, there you have it. George Washington was the first president of the United States. He was president from 1789 to 1797. Before he became president, George Washington was the general of the American army. Thanks, Hamilton. Lynn manuel Miranda. George Washington decided to stop being president after two four-year terms. Nice of him. Today we follow his example. <laughs> that is amazing to me. Like so many times in human history, it's like, why are we doing this? Because the first guy did it. <laughs> Whatever works. But what if I want to do longer? No, the no. first guy didn't do that either. Oh, the 22nd Amendment added to the Constitution in 1951, like almost 20 years later, limits presidents to two four year terms. Also, wait, so during the first 200 years, everyone just did it because this dude did it. And yeah. then after 200 years, I'm guessing of everyone just following the rules, we were like, you know what, we need to write this down. I have a feeling something happened. Because 1951 is also shortly after World War II. I oh. think it might have something to do with that. Okay, people actually had longer terms, okay. apparently. FDR was present four times. Damn. Who's FDR? Frederick. Franklin oh. Roosevelt. I, I was close. Don't ask me what the D stands for. <laughs> we learned just the stuff related to wars, really, when it came to other countries that we learned. Yeah, same. Same. Yeah. All right. Delano. <laughs> D is nuts. <laughs> I doubt the D is nuts part. I'm, I can't be sure, but want to ask Emma? No. All right. Somewhere between three and five. Yeah, I think four is anywhere. All right. I know this one. In what month do we vote for the president? October, November, February, or January? Oh, I am. Um, I know that one. I'm a bit fucked. What? What time was it? Was it January or was it October? I think it was end of the year. In January, something else recent last year happened in the US regarding the government that had to do with votes, but 
that's not that. It's October, isn't it? No, it's November. November? Yeah. Well, at least I was correct about the end of the year. I'm right, right? You're all welcome. In what month do we try to do something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Then again, I'd fail the German equivalent. See, that's why we're doing this one first. I want to give everybody a false sense of safety thinking this is gonna be easy. <laughs> because to you, this is, and it makes sense if you live. Well, honestly, it's, it's, I guess if you actually live there, it should be a bit easier because it's supposed to be like a cultural thing, like about things going on in the country that you should know about. Yeah. So it makes sense in a way. And to be fair, I couldn't tell you what the German equivalent would be. I, I wouldn't know. I think it's September, but I'm not I sure. also have no clue. So, we vote for the president in November. In 1845, Congress <laughs> decided that November was the perfect month to have elections. At that time, most American citizens lived on farms. By November, farmers had finished harvesting their crops. They could leave the farm to vote. Also, November was not as cold as the winter months. Bad weather would not stop people from voting. There's actually... That made sense 200 years ago. Yeah. I somehow didn't think that there was thought behind it. Does that make sense? It's like, oh, let's just pick a date. Kind of. Like, we need one now. Let's say we need two months of planning. Let's do it in two months. Yeah, more like out of necessity rather than... Yeah. I would think it starts like that. But they actually thought about this. I'm like, pretty sure in some countries it does. Like, chapeau. Just went through the test quickly and only got one question wrong. Heck yeah. Nice. Ooh, nice. To be frank, we've also gotten pretty easy questions so far. Yes, I would agree. I think the harder questions you can get, yeah, so far just might be lucky. If that's what's gonna get me into your wonderful country. <laughs> Technically, I already fucked one up, but the score says I didn't, so I'll take it. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? A, the people. <laughs> Given current events, this feels all sorts of weird. The I'm, president. I'm gonna go with me. I can't do this with a straight face. I'm, I'm horribly sorry. For all of you kids that watch this on YouTube in like 20 years and you have no idea what we're talking about, January 6, 2021, USA. Look it up. Freedom of speech. <laughs> checks and balances. I would be uh, thinking it's checks and balances because from my understanding, that's the same in most countries, uh, different branches of government have different jobs and they all form like a triangle relationship mm. and only in unison can something happen. So I think it's checks and balances even though that sounds kind of easy. No? I thought we were talking about money with checks and balances. <laughs> yeah, the balance of my bank account <laughs> I'm writing a check. <laughs> Which you don't even spell like that. Tifa thinks, <laughs> Tifa thinks the government doesn't go out of whack because she's checking her account balance. I pay, what? I pay you to stay legit. <laughs> okay, that didn't quite work out well. You think this is easy for us? Do you see what I'm working with? This is why I fill these tasks. Oh my god, Tifa, you're a triangle like the Illuminati? Busted. Yeah. So D. Real quick, D. D. Also, Groundhog, oh, yeah. congratulations on only getting one wrong. It seems like you guys are all upstanding citizens. Not bad. And a question about the current speaker of the house, so it might be updated, not sure. Let's see. Hmm. The system of checks and balances stops one branch of a federal government from becoming too powerful. The United States government is divided into three separate branches. We have a president, Congress, and the courts. Here's an example of how this works. Congress makes laws, but the president can veto a law. That means the president can refuse to sign it. The law is then sent back to Congress. It's like, do your homework again. This is one way the president limits or checks the power of Congress. Okay. If yeah. you don't misuse those powers, that makes sense. I <laughs> just sense. found out it is true. Today I learned. See? The government wouldn't lie to us. This no. debt has to be legit. Also, We're this totally test is... not being sponsored by the US government to do it. Also, this test is the 2008 version. So there is no new one. Uh, yeah, but that, it says 2008, just... so if you get anything about the Speaker of the House, like Fody said, you have to think back to 2008. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
Oh, oh speak of our house is amazing. I don't know who it is. I have no clue. Also, hello, sauce. I'm doing. So. Hate it, by the way. I'll share it if you don't get the question. That sounds fine. We're gonna so. guess correctly. Just wait. Oh God. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 100, 441, 435, or 200? The House of Representatives. I think it's B or C. I think it's B. 441. I'm gonna, I say 441, but I'm willing to go with 435 for you. Like, I'm not 100% sure about one or the other. Isn't there also another house? But it has to be an uneven number. Yeah, both are. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying that's, what, that's why I'm saying it's between B and C, because A and D okay. are out. No, I get it. <laughs> it's one of those. I think C. Oh, I can't help, right? You have to write down your score for yourself, and if at the end of a test you tell us your score, you get a prize. <laughs> so, Tifa, B or C? Please be right, please be right. You got this, Yoma. B or C? I'm thinking C. Then go with C. Oh, you were right. Gamer skills, people. Your text, please. And Yomo, did you add it right? Yomo, come on, please. <laughs> oh, yes. Nice. Well, I added it wrong. There are 435 voting members in the House of Representatives. Each state is divided into districts. Each district elects one representative. California is the state with the most people. It has more than 50 representatives. States with fewer people, like Alaska, only have one representative. That makes sense, but imagine being the one Alaskan representative. <laughs> versus 50 Californians. Mm. Like, is that, I mean, I, it's so that it is harder that people in states with lower population like can push through things but at the same time it also makes it harder to be heard no i mean there's a drawback to everything hmm. it occurs to me it may be different now because it's affected by the census that would make sense if there's more population in different areas the numbers should change yeah. wait there was a civics test to oh that's something that goes never mind next question we're almost halfway there yeah, why about two? Well, it's a study for the test and we're already in this. We're old school, we do the 2008 version. <laughs> we can always do the 2021. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? I know this thanks to the Metal Gear Solid series. A, the Great Depression, B, climate change, C, communism, and D, slavery. Tifa? Slavery. No, yeah, I'm uh, gonna go with during, a. During the Cold War, slavery had already <laughs> yeah, no, that's had what. already been abolished. Yeah, I think the Great Depression happened during that time. Could be, but that was not the main concern. No. No. Then it's communism. Correct. Communism is always a concern, actually. So. I mean, I, I say correct, <laughs> but I haven't clicked yet. Also, 435 is still correct. Well, that works. Oh, thank you. See, 13, 14 year old knowledge, but still works. I'd say something about that, but I won't because uh, in case you get the other question I got. I'm quite sure Yomo yeah. mentioned that the order of the questions are just different. So we should still hit whatever you got. Maybe there's also just more than 20 questions and picks them randomly. <laughs> Tifa would fail on her own, <laughs> yes. But I wouldn't want to take your citizenship, Groudhog. Yeah. The United States' main concern during the Cold War was communism. I, I would argue that it was nuclear deterrence, but the Cold War was no traditional war. It was cold because the United States and the Soviet Union did not fight each other directly. It was winter. No, instead they did by, <laughs> instead they did by proxies. The Cold War began after World War II ended in 1945. The Soviet Union was a communist country. Communism is an economic system where most property belongs to the government. The United States has a capitalist economy where property usually belongs to individuals. The United States and the Soviet Union competed for world power. The leaders of both countries worried that the other would use the atomic bomb, because there was clearly only one, to turn the Cold War into a real war. This never happened. 
Cold War ended in 1991 when the Soviet Union divided into many smaller countries. And one of the main reasons why we're all alive today, most likely, and this never escalated, is because... Did you know this? Um, there was actually a glitch in a system in uh, one of the Soviet radar... I think it was one of the radar systems. And it showed to the guy who was operating the machine that... I think it, the US had launched a nuclear strike. Okay. And the systems on both sides were like, if you launch a nuke, we retaliate the same way, so mutually assured destruction. And he decided this has to be a glitch because nobody in their right mind would destroy the world. Turned out he was right, it was a glitch. You'd be surprised, I think, at some point. <laughs> I hope not. coming. And then the Great Depression happened. Yeah, I think that was afterwards, right? I really thought that was during. Was it in the 60s? I don't recall. It wasn't a question, so right now we're doing well. <laughs> Back then, communists. Now, Mexicans. <laughs> and a bunch of other things. Yeah. I feel like I get the easier questions. Oh, true, it was in the 20s. Or sure, shorter questions. Which is funny because in Germany the 20s were like, or well, in Europe mostly, um, the, the 20s were raging parties. Everybody was doing cocaine. We elect a US senator for how many years? Yeah, so how do you do that? Two, ten, four, oh or God. six. The US senator. I don't think it's four. Isn't it for longer? Isn't it ten? I think it's six. Or six. I think it's six. It's ten or six. I think ten might be too long, so I would say six. Ten seems excessive, two, and two seems too two short. Two seems too short. I was okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Think, Tifa. How often when did Schwarzenegger run for senator, and how uh, how much time was in between? I should think I know that. He's one of the few senators I remember the name of. I think it's six. I would take six. <laughs> Correct answer. Too long. <laughs> If he took the test, got 19 right. It did not ask me how many people were in the reps. That Great. is good. Six? Yeah, six. Six. We are so good. Well, mainly so good. you, but if you get citizenship, <laughs> <laughs> if you get citizenship, I get citizenship. True, you can get a green card for me, probably. Exactly. We elect US senators for six years. Senators can run for as many terms as they want. Their job is to represent all the people of their state in the Senate. Represent? Heck <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're in Colorado now, he ain't your senator. <laughs> well. Tifa can be your anchor lady. Yeah, I'm okay Heck with yeah. that. What is the political party of a president now? Well, Green the party, independent party, Democratic Party and Republican Party. 2008? Um, I could get this wrong because this is 2008, right? Yeah, it's a 2008 test. Republican. That was still Bush in 2008, no? Or was it already Obama? Didn't he no, get into Obama. office in 2009? Obama had eight years. And? Wait, let me... Bush Jr. had two terms, right? Go for a Republican. I think it's Bush. Obama was 2009 until 2017. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, go for a Republican. So, my, my answer, if we, in case we get this wrong, in 2008 it was George W. Bush. The Democrat Party, Democratic Party. I can <laughs> what speak. Now? Okay, we have one wrong. Today there are two, or four years ago, there are two major political parties the Democrats and the Republicans. The political party of the president might change in each election. Test is updated. Okay, then it's a Democrat. Uh, but it, it says 2008. It is up to date. Fuck. Okay, so we've got nine correct. <laughs> Because Joe Biden is a Democrat. I'm willing to take the fall. I was hanging on to hope it was updated. Thank goodness I was right. Deserved. Like, why do they still write 2008 then if it's up to date? Maybe that was the name of your offer. 
So. Oh, I had the previous one. Did you? Oh, I can do this one. What is freedom of religion? You must choose a religion. You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. No one can practice a religion. You can't choose the time you practice your religion. You know, usually it's like a nine to five thing. Actually, not, no, it's not a nine to five thing because religion is something you do in your own time and not at work. So it's a five to nine thing. Also, Martin, thank you for correcting me. Schwarzenegger was a governor, not a senator. See, that, that's why I have to do these tests. We're completely wrong. Forgot Obama became president in 2009. He was elected in 2008. Got it right because I was wrong. <laughs> Nice though, nice, nice. It is definitely A, no. everyone must have a religion, but no, it's B. I think it's B. It is B. Correct. Freedom of religion is the ability to practice any religion or not practice a religion. Freedom to practice different religions is part of American life. It yeah, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> it is part of the First Amendment to the Constitution. Everyone living in the United States has religious freedom. They can choose to practice any religion or not practice a religion. Oh, so that was the one I got wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Did you misclick? Did you misread? How did you? Oh, the president's party one. Oh, okay. Matanard is like, I choose your religion. <laughs> Some people are trying, but unfortunately. Uh. Since I got 19, Tifa can't big beat me. Thank goodness. Your green card is safe. Wait, a green card you only get as You a... don't need a green card if Your you... citizenship is safe. <laughs> Who was president during World War I? Franklin Roosevelt, Warren Harding, Woodrow Wilson, Wilson, and Theodore Roosevelt. D. Hmm? D. Do you know that? I'm quite sure it's D. Because I saw, isn't that the, isn't that the president that liked teddy bears? That's Theodore Roosevelt, right? Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, and I kind of remember learning about the war in hunting. school and something about teddy bears. I'm quite sure it's D. Teddy. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt was World War II. Are you sure? Yeah. I think. Pretty sure. At least I connected him to the war. And do you know why I think I know that? Why? Epic rap battles of history. Theodore Roosevelt <laughs> versus... Uh, what's the British guy? Smokes a lot, I drinks. Forget the name, right? He was also a character in Peaky Blinders. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill, thank you. And there's a line in the epic rap battle where Roosevelt goes that he had to come over and save his ass from the Nazis. So, Teddy Roosevelt is World War II. Look at all of these different sources you're getting your information. Thank from. you, mainstream pop culture. <laughs> okay, then it's. I think it's Woodrow Wilson. I've never heard of the name. It is Wilson. Thank you, Animaniacs. There is a song. For uh, Animaniacs. Yes, there For is a the song. I think it is done by... I think it's Yakko, the, the older mm. brother. Uh, the list of US presidents. It was made when Clinton was still in office. And there's a thing. Da, da, da takes us into World War One, and it's Woodrow Wilson. Oh Bam. shit, look at you. Nice. Please tell me television never taught us anything. Please tell me. So Please. what do we learn? Let your kids watch cartoons. Animaniacs, look it up. Amazing show. <laughs> Woodrow Wilson was the president during World War One. It was started in 1914. Many countries in Europe and other places fought each other during World War One. Yeah, Germany kind of started that one too. Woodrow Wilson and others in the United States did not want to enter World War I. That is correct. But in 1917, German submarines attacked American ships. Pretty dumb. Woodrow Wilson decided the US had to fight in the war. Congress agreed and declared war. And I have a question about how to trade monopoly properties better. I don't think so. It's the true goal of becoming a citizen <laughs> of the great US of A. Well, we're not done yet. It might still it be still there. could happen. <laughs> Who is the father of our country? Is it Patrick Henry? 
Who do you call daddy? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, or Thomas Jefferson? Father of our country. I would say Abraham Lincoln is the daddiest of them all. I want to say Abe Lincoln, but we had George Washington earlier and he was the first US president. But that doesn't just because he was first doesn't mean he's the dad. <laughs> My father is young I... gravy. I have no idea who that is, but congratulations. <laughs> I have no clue either. <laughs> Andrik, thank you for the resub. Andrik. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Thank you so much for the resub. <laughs> How have you been? Favorite and most often remembered political figure, Patrick Henry. I wish I knew who that was, but I have no clue. I say George Washington. Okay then, uh, you, uh, your judgment has been much better. Wait, that's George Washington! Obviously I've never seen a picture. No, Tifa, you're thinking of the Hamilton George Washington who looked, sorry, much cooler, I think. Yeah, probably. I just realized I've never actually seen a picture of any of them. Fair enough. But. George Washington is called the father of our country. He was the general of the American army during the War of Independence. He was the first president of the United States. He became a symbol for the new government. His image is on the one dollar bill. Imagine going through all this trouble, <laughs> becoming the first president, leading the armies during the war, and what do you get as a reward? The one dollar bill. A buck. Would you put him on the hundred? Who's on the hundred dollar bill? I have no idea. Like, who did more than Father Washington to get on a hundred dollar bill? Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin, okay. Fair. Ben Franklin, okay. Franklin. Ben Franklin. You also has one teeth. I don't know. I guess. How are you doing, Andrew? I guess that beats everything. Are you gonna join us on our attempt to potentially have what it takes to become a US citizen. <laughs> Yomo, thank you so much for the clip and oh, yeah, Enric said, oh no, just glad you're feeling better. Brad, thank seeing you, you Same. both. Ben Franklin wasn't even a president, he's on the 100. But wasn't he the guy with a, with a kite and the thunder and stuff? Didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what, the kite and the thunder? Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I can't. It just sounds so funny. You hold a kite, no? How do you hold a kite? <laughs> no! No! George Washington's a daddy because of a strippers take him home. Well... He didn't even finish the text, man. He even uh, had a whole state named after him. As are many places are named for George Washington. The capital of the United States is named Washington, D.C. One of the 50 states is named Washington. Yes. Well, <laughs> more coke has been on gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> George's face. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody knows the famous historical figure, Gork Washington. <laughs> Wait, wasn't, wasn't Gork uh, Hulk's character in an MMO? <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous. Gork, you say it again. And I said on purpose. Uh, you fuckers literally got me to put down Xenoblade to do a history test. Yeah. And you, this is only one of them. You gotta earn your American ship. <laughs> your American ship? <laughs> so if you don't have dollar bills, just pelt your strippers with quarter. <laughs> don't throw coins at people. <laughs> Screw your modern art, you're making me cover. Don't do that, please. Shall I do the question for you? No, it's fine. <laughs> Making it rain. <laughs> like a shotgun blast with a small coins. Don't, don't ever do it. No, I remember this. I had to learn and sing in school starting like second grade, I think. I still find it so weird that, especially as kids, you have to sing the national anthem. I couldn't sing the German one. I think the only place we do that in the Netherlands is like during soccer matches, maybe official stuff. I couldn't tell you. What is the name of a national anthem? God bless the USA. Doesn't really work with the whole freedom to choose your religion thing, does it? The Star Spangled Banner, America the Beautiful, and My Country Tis of Thee. 
America, the be beautiful, my country, this of thee. Keep going, keep the going. The Spar Spangler Banner, God bless the USA. America. America. I'm not sure that's how it goes, but I'm <laughs> pretty sure it's. And oh, I'm... say, can you see? Da, 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 da. And in the end, there's like, does the Star Spangled Banner yet wave? Or something like that. Oh shit, there's actually a line in there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's B. I was gonna make fun of the Star Spangled Banner, but now I can't. You have seen the US flag before, it right? As stars on Yeah, I didn't know there was a line in there. Do you think I know the national anthem? I don't even know my own national anthem. I... You have your own national anthem? Yeah, we do. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Well, Republic of Tifa. So B? No, no, no. It's A. It's B. It's not that. Is, it's what? B. I have never even heard of that before. How can that be the song? You have watched The Dark Knight Rises with me in cinemas. You watched as I, f I keep fucking up his name. The guy who played Bane, Tom Hardy. There's one, there's one uh, fashion brand, I think that's Ed Hardy, and the, the actor is Tom Hardy. He was also in Peaky Blinders. Tom Hardy. They did not talk about a Star Spangled Banner. They had the little like, kid run out on Gotham Field and sing the song. Yeah, he didn't sing the title. Yeah, he did. It's, it's a line in the lyrics. I didn't make that up. What? I kind of want to Google the Dutch national anthem now, but I can't because that might be a question in the Dutch one either. Holy shit, I love Tifa's conviction. Says correct on the screen, still says no. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> so this has the to US wrong. government doesn't know its own anthem. Isn't your anthem like a Rammstein song or something? I don't think it is. And also, personally, I don't like Rammstein, so. <laughs> Wait, all of those songs are real? Ah, no. I would say I'd Google it, but yeah. I know I won't. Click a thing on our teleprompter thing. I know what the Dutch national anthem is, question mark. Do you? <laughs> I want to say I know star it. Star Spangled Banner is in the lyrics. Does the Star Spangled Banner yet wait? Completely wrong melody, but it is in there. The Star Spangled... What's, what's your question? <laughs> the star spanked this. Spanked also, banner. Another reason why this shouldn't be the name is spangled. Like, say that ten times. The star spangled banner. The That's, SSB. This is a song or a tongue twister. The SSB. The SSB. <laughs> it sounds very German. The star spangled banner is the name of our national anthem. The song is about the United States flag. In the war of 1812, the United States fought the British. One night during the war, the British ships attacked Fort McHenry in Baltimore. Bombs exploded all night. An American man named Francis Scott Key watched the battle from a ship. He worried that the United States might lose the battle. The next morning, he saw the United States flag flying in the wind. And he knew that the United States won the battle. Then he wrote the words to the Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner is now the national anthem of the United States. I love that this person's last name was Key, because he was a key character in history. <laughs> well, basically, to... from the sound of it, he didn't do anything but write the song. <laughs> oh, say can you eat the brothers and fam? Grab your touch, grab your, your touch, grab your torch, grab your forks, it's eating time. Cannibalism is not a crime. <laughs> Yum and um, bones, bones, skin, eyeballs, tongue. We all win. Beautiful songs. Beautiful. Yeah. I applaud you. I could sing all of them as Groundhog. That's impressive. I, I would love for you to actually sing one. that. Make it a song. Yeah. Yes, you have a beautiful singing voice, That's and cool. I think that would really work. I to learn this history to the song as well in school. See? I'm well, smart. What are the two major political parties in the United States? You gave us that answer already. It's still the Republicans and the Democrats. A. Democratic Republican and... Can, can I save it on stream? Wix? I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> is, it, is Wix an actual thing? 
I'm gonna Google this off stream first. What the fuck is a wig? That can't be a thing. Wigs. Wigs are a British political party. Of oh, sorry, were. I know. Okay. Googling answers. <laughs> we first of all, we know. Second of all, this very test gave us the answer a couple of questions earlier. So no, this is not cheating. Reform in green? No. It is the blue moose. <laughs> American and blue moose. That sounds Canadian. I'd vote moose. But it's D. Democratic and Republican. What's the elephant and the donkey? Yeah. Beaver? Donkey. It's a donkey. I don't know, Tiva. Okay. Now you can't take the British citizenship test. <laughs> Not that I would want to either after Brexit. It actually was a political party a long time ago, but no longer exists, if I recall correctly. Yes. Apparently, true. indeed. <laughs> yes, the great democratic <laughs> beaver. That is gonna be my porn star name, Frody. That's gonna be that. Democratic beaver? No, the great democratic beaver. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, unless it's winter, then it's just the democratic beaver. Prefers to have quarters thrown at him. Give me a clap, Papa. <laughs> well, teach a senpai on why you are correct. I prefer blue bunny. Why do I think that's a thing? I'm not quite sure. So, wait. We don't need to ask him. The Democratic Party and the Republican Party are the two major political parties in the United States. Political parties are groups of people who organize to help candidates win elections and to create public policies. The members of the two major political parties are called the Democrats and the Republicans. The symbol of a donkey <laughs> represents the Democrats. What? Listen, donkeys are amazing creatures and unfortunately most images most things we associate with them are negative. That's just a thing, at least over here. The symbol of an elephant represents the Republicans. I really hope that the Dutch and German one aren't going to focus that much on politics. I think they will. Du, 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 du. Party membership is voluntary. Many people belong to a political party. It only costs you your soul. I think, I don't know if it's just true for one political party in Germany, our social one, center left, um, or if it's true for all of them, but there you actually decide how much you pay to be part of them. Like okay. when you're a member, you have to pay like a fee. And I think at least with that one, you can choose how much you contribute yourself. So you, you can do one dollar or one euro or a thousand. Okay. Something like that. Maybe we should see if Tifa remembers your blue waffle. <laughs> I remember the term blue waffle, but I don't remember what it is. And I'm not allowed to Google that now, I think. Correct. <laughs> I do remember that bit. I'm a registered Democrat. It's good to be able to vote in the primaries. It's free. I didn't know you have to be registered with a political party in order to vote for anything. I'm... I figured everybody can. See, that's different here. Thing. Yeah. I'm not allowed. Yes, Fody. Yes. Yeah. Because Tifa <laughs> has learned. So, the idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are word. these words? We, the British. <laughs> yes, that's what you want in your in your constitution, which cements you as an individual individual country away from the people you left behind. We the other people. We the people, I think it's B. I, I think Tifa would vote C. We the colonists. Oh, uh, actually, no, 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 that's a story for another day, by the way. I have a colony story, but I'm gonna save that. And Congress shall make. Congress shall make. Well, Tifa, which one is it? I would say we, the British, but I'm gonna go with the people. Also, a wonderful uh, lyric in Hamilton, where one of the Skylar sisters sings about this, I think. 
Oh, That's I'm good. so glad we actually did this test. I'm having so much fun. We the people. Thank you, thank you, Yomo. Thank you so much for the clips. Thank you very much. <laughs> Public of Tifa. <laughs> Confess shall fuck. Renju, I can't even begin to understand where the typos started and where they ended. But yes, yes. Uh, Does anybody else remember the Schoolhouse Rock song for the preamble? It's a bob. I have no clue. No. So we the people of the United States, in order to form a perfect union, establish justice. That's all I can remember off the top of my head. I have never I only remember the, the beginning, the actual, literal first three words. Also this stuff seems so boring to learn. The first three words of... Wait, what's your line? The first three words of the Constitution are we, the people. The document says that the people of the United States choose to create the government. We, the people, also explains that people elect representatives to make laws. This is a form of self-government. <laughs> we, the people. <laughs> we, we. <laughs> Martina channeled all of his ranger for that statement. And I appreciate it. Oh shit, there's a time limit for this test. Well, we fucked that up. Not for us, no. What does the judicial branch do? A. It decides if a law goes against the constitution. B. It reviews laws. C. It resolves disputes. And D. All of the answers. Ooh, it has an all of the answers. That's, that's sus. That is really sus. Imagine being like eight and having to memorize the beginning of a constitution there. No. I don't want to. <laughs> I do not want to at all. I remember having to memorize uh, like poems and stuff in school and I hated it. So yeah. Also we could have had the thing read out the questions for us. Yeah, but this is not the US government streaming, it's us. <laughs> we could ask Emma for help too, but... I would ask Emma, like, <laughs> hey, what's the answer to question 16? See. So. I think the judicial branch is everything having to do with laws. Yeah. So I think it's D. I think it's D as well, only because it has an all of the above basically. Otherwise I would have said B. What else do we have? We have... I didn't think it would resolve disputes. Yes. I would say A and B, but not C. But because there is a D that no, says listen. everything, we're we going have with everything. The executive, we have the judicial branch, and we have the legislative branch. No? How do you even know that? Legislature is uh, creating laws, executive is uh, police and stuff, and the judicial branch is this, which is D. Okay, if we're ever moving to America, you definitely go first. You know why I think I know these things? Why? Because we use the same system in Germany. And that's the same three powers that we have here too. I don't even know what system we have in the Netherlands. Okay, I, let's go with D. Have you not seen Judge, Ju uh, Ju uh, blah, blah, Judge Judy? Only clips. Actually, no. And the German version of Judge Judy, which is not really that close to it. Uh, Judge Judy is not a thing over here. So, no. Mm. Yeah. I think I've seen some parts of it as well, actually. This you. The judicial branch reviews laws and explains the law. It resolves disagreements. It also decides if the law is supported by the constitution or is constitutional. The Supreme Court and all other federal courts are part of the judicial branch. Here we go. <laughs> have you not seen Judge Clarence Thomas? I'm pretty sure I have seen him before because the name rings a bell from recent news. But I couldn't point him out on the street. No. You know what I love the most so far? Because oh, come on. if you still remember the conversation we had about this weeks ago, it's that I remember doing a test for the Netherlands. And one of the questions was, how many bikes does the average Dutch household have in their garden? And do you know the answer? It was three. Spoilers for later. I don't think they're still gonna ask that. But and then here it's all about political things. <laughs> and then in the Netherlands we talk <laughs> about the bikes? amount of bikes you should have for average family. I think and that's then, wonderful. It kind of is, no? I mean mm -hmm. that's a big part of our culture. Have you not seen which one you from Ace Attorney? <laughs> yes, that one I know. <laughs> that one I know. So, where is the Statue of Liberty? Long Island? San Francisco Bay, Boston Harbor, or New York Harbor? Hello, call me mommy. Long time no see, how have you been? 
<laughs> Nita goes down on dinner. Skinner, thank you for the luck. <laughs> Welcome, if, Nita. If you did the test, send us your score. Yes. So, Tifa, where is the Statue of Liberty? Asked Whisk. Long Island. Okay, now no, that was a joke. New York Harbor. No. I have no clue, actually. It's New York Harbor. Oh yeah, I said that. The first was a joke. <laughs> Long Island is a residential area in New York. I was thinking of the... No, I'm just kidding. Then it would be Tall Island, you <laughs> nincompoot. <laughs> I was. I go with D. I'm just saying, I was correct the second time. Glad to hear you've been doing well. So the real question is how many illegal caravans of Mexicans coming from Guatemala can you build with all those bikes? Because <laughs> they're coming. No. Oh, that would be absolutely horrible. This is one from the actual government, so no. <laughs> Gonna be playing some Jackbox. Thank Enjoy. you for dropping by. Enjoy. The island is New York property after an agreement was made, but it's technically in New Jersey water. If you think about it, that is such a weird fact. Like the water. <laughs> the water <laughs> is ground. New Jersey, but the ground, that's New York. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a weird system, don't you think? Yeah, I, I find know, like, lots of things about this really funny. That yeah. is true. So, the Statue of Liberty is on an island in New York Harbor. In 1886, France gave the statue to the United States. Many immigrants came by boat to New York. The Statue of Liberty was the first symbol of the United States they saw. The statue represents liberty. Huh, didn't see that coming. The statue is a famous symbol of hope. It is a symbol of starting a new life in the United States. Uh, what does the text on the, on the book say? Give me your poor, your sick, your huddled masses, something like that. And I forgot the rest of the text. I wonder if Franz regrets giving away to this giant ass statue. Do you do remember that America won its war for independence because of France? Because Lafayette went back to Paris, rallied some troops, came back and then helped the rebels. I hear the musical yeah. <laughs> playing in the background. Who's your favorite fighting <laughs> Frenchman? Lafayette? Thank you, Hamilton, once again. All my history lessons. Uh. <laughs> Tall Island for the win. Thank you. All the Hamilton references are amazing. Thank you, Yuma. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a poor and homeless. I'll make it illegal. Oh, wait. I, I thought you were going to say that's what it says. No. <laughs> that would be kind of bad. No. Like a tiny bit of bad. By the way, the statue is copper, so it wasn't originally green. Correct. If you look at super old pictures, you can see it in its previous color. It turned I, green because of oxidation. I actually did not know that. Yeah. That is interesting. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen an old picture of the statue then. I did once. Yeah. Something like that. Nice. The French tried to give it to us. They told us where to build a base for it. Congress said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> People mailed in dimes and pennies to have it built. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> what do we do with this giant statue? That is amazing that people chipped in for that. Yeah. I like what I do. Gaster, nice to see Happy you Friday. again. How are you doing? How are you two doing? I am better. Not perfect, but better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Why isn't the best at the moment? No worries. I feel that. Uh, but you know it's illegal to be homeless in Austin, Texas. How does that work? So Com you go to jail for being homeless? But, well, then you're no longer homeless. Yes, except when you <laughs> are in jail. I'm just saying. The problem I have with this stream is I don't have four hours to sit here and crawl through multiple choice test questions. Yes, we do. It's only been 80 minutes since I pressed the go live button. <laughs> yes, we do. We elect a president for how many years? Four. We had this answer already. A, eight, no. B, 10, no. C, four, yes. Since the what was it the 20 something amendment in 1951 and d2 no it's c4 what an explosive answer <laughs> hey. correct we elect the president for a four-year term a candidate can run for president 
as many times as he or she wants. A person can only be elected president for eight years or two terms of four years each. The constitution says how many terms a president can serve. No, it's the amendment of the constitution. For example, President Dwight D. Eisenhower became president for the first time in 1953, then he ran for president again. He won the election and, in 1957, became president for another four years. Get you up. There we go. <laughs> Next question. Hey, second hey, lesson. We're almost there. We are so close. Like, we're getting there. Joseph Pulitzer, the owner of the World of New York City Daily Newspaper, stepped in to help. Oh, he printed the name of every donor in the newspaper. That's nice. I know 25,000 people chipped in. They received a $2 million donation in total by today's standards. Damn, nice. nice. Not bad. Not bad. T5 that yen. is pretty sweet. Okay. Name the US war between the North and the South. I think that's a bit simplified, the, but. The Revolutionary War, the War of 1812. The Civil War, World War One, because there's no other country like America. <laughs> don't you guys, I mean, not you personally, but <laughs> don't you do that in America with some sports for where it's like World Series and all the teams who are in there <laughs> are American? <laughs> it's like, nah, mm, maybe you notice that there's something weird here. But... I'm gonna go with Civil War. Um, I think so. But. But? Something rings a bell with 1812. Maybe the Civil War was in 1812. I don't recall. I'm thinking it's see. I mean, technically, was it really just North versus South? It was like... Oh, Hulk! This means I'm coming for your citizenship. I'm wow. Just <laughs> it's see. It's see. Go for see. Hey! The war between the states in the north and the states in the south is called the Civil War. The Civil War started in 1861. You were close. It ended in 1865. Southern states disagreed with the north over slavery and other issues. They did not want to be part of the United States. They formed their own country called the Confer Confederate. Confederate States of America or the, the Confetti Confederacy. States. <laughs> Confetti. <laughs> In the North wanted to keep the United States together. They were the Union. The North won the war, the Confederacy became part of the United States again. Tifa's getting hard carried through his <laughs> test by Jack. Watch me also get all the answers on the Dutch test. You're yes, saying. I am quite sure that I am 100% sure that the Dutch test is gonna be so much easier because I have faith in our government and they're not just gonna put questions in there about the government. We'll see. In case we weren't divided enough, there's a legit line drawn. Really? I never noticed that. Seriously? Oh god. Name one state that borders Mexico. Alabama, Arkansas, yeah. California and Florida. Um, it's not Florida. Florida is the, the penis looking thing on the east coast. Ah uh, yes, the penis of the states. California doesn't? I think Arkansas is towards Canada, no? I want to say Arkansas is the Midwest. Is Calif- wait. California does share a border with Mexico. I have no clue. I say it's California. Sweet home California. What do you say? Sure. Right above Mexico. Here's the reason why I think it's California. I'm not quite sure if the... Uh, southern end of california is actually there but i remember watching two and a half men <laughs> where do all your references come from and charlie tells his brother whose name i currently forgot alan alan harper he tells his brother uh we're gonna get in the car and we're gonna drive down to tijuana somewhere just across the border to party and I don't think you would drive there for a couple hours if you weren't close. So I think it's California. Because I'm pretty sure that Two and a Half Men is a place in LA. Because there's also lots of jokes about horrible traffic and that is something I associate with LA. Okay, well... See? 
or yeah, something. Yeah, go with it. Oh, look at Everything you Everything I know about the world. <laughs> TV, movies, musicals, video games. There are four states that border Mexico. California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Mexico is a country to the south of the United States. Who would have known? All of the states that now border Mexico were once part of Mexico. Nice. I got 19 on this version of the test, got the 435 question. I'm gonna write yeah. down scores, but damn, Yomo, Nice. 20. It was the last one. Okay, not bad. Does it say what score you need to stay? I think in the Netherlands you need 70% or 60% to pass. I have no idea. Good job. Oh yeah. <laughs> American <laughs> Jack. Yeah, my favorite letter is America, basically. <laughs> so, There's if it. you are, really quick, if you are listening currently, want to earn a unique prize to be delivered this weekend, hopefully, Please tell us in chat now your score, if you want to share. We have no means to verify whether you're telling us the truth or not. It doesn't matter. If you tell us your score, you will win a prize. There is no judgment. <laughs> 85. <laughs> Write that down, please. Fody had yeah. 85 out of 20. Okay, Yomo at 20-20. Fody yeah. had 85%. See, that's... No, 85 out of 20. No, that was, that's the percentage, I'm What's quite sure. What's 85% of 20? In terms of we have Evie with 90-20, Matanart, 90-20, what am I missing? Groundhog, 90-20. I'm going to write it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Hulk has 14. What makes this so funny to me is that you yourself said that you had to take this test. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's already got his status. And, uh, fair enough. I mean, you got what you what you got there for, so it worked. Okay, wait, wait. Give me a sec. I got Yomo. I got Fody. I mm -hmm. got Evie. I got Matanars. Hulk? I got Hulk? Hulk. I got Groundhog. And I got Ranger. Cody has 17 out of 20. Thank you. I can't do math. American so Jack? Okay. No. Simple Jack. <laughs> so this was for the US one. Tropic Fun was a great movie. United States test caps rage. All right. So, so you, you guys want to do another one or was this too much? No, this, now we set the ground rules. This was the easy part. I feel like Next, this was the harder one. We're gonna do one of the German ones, but first we're gonna take a break. So I can cough in peace outside of you being able to hear it and stuff. I, mean, I had lots of fun. I'm totally up for I the next blast. one. If you guys say, hey, this is way too much, my brain hurts, please know, let us know. But for now, we'll take it out. Well, Even we'll if you tell test. us, we'll I don't care. Break. We'll take another one. <laughs> BRB. BRB. Oh my god, where's the button? Left. Oh, that's been a long BRB. time. BRB. BRB. 